Hello everyone and welcome to another To Die For Friday video. Today's video we're going to be using the Lawn Fawn Stitched, not stitched, sorry, it's been one of those days, uh, Lawn Fawn Pillow Box Die. We are going to be making our third Easter project. I'm going to be doing um, a little coloring as well as putting this together. I'm making two of these for my kids, but I'm only showing you one. I have it already die cut and ready to go on this really cute jelly bean pattern paper, um, which I got from the Doodlebug 6x6 uh, paper pad called um, Bunnyville, and I will be sharing that in an upcoming haul video for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm, I'm waiting on one more thing to come in so I can finish up my haul, so hopefully that'll be going up next week. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, start my coloring. These two little bunnies here are from Mama Elephant. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. They're from the um, Lunar Animals stamp set and I just have them stamped out here and I'm going to be using my Copics to color and they are stamped out in Memento. We're going to be going for a dark chocolate bunny and a milk chocolate bunny. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my dark chocolate bunny. And I keep my um, markers for me to keep them straight. I keep them in my hand like this. So I always start from light to dark. Sometimes I do do dark to light, it just depends. But I usually keep them from the lightest color to my darkest shade. Um, this way I can just put them back and keep without having to double check what I'm picking up because I have been known to set them down and uh, pick up the wrong color. So this just helps keep it straight. So I apologize if um, you don't see the caps, but I'm going to be using E25, E27, and E29 for my dark chocolate bunny. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a layer of the lighter color. No real rhyme or reason where, just to kind of get some color going on him. Um, they are going to be all one solid color and we will be filling up our pillow boxes with some really cute candies. So, I want the face to be a little bit lighter than the rest of the image um, just so you don't lose any of the detail. <clears throat> There's no real rhyme or reason other than that to color these, just getting the color down, but I want the darker areas around the outside. But I thought it would be kind of cute to color these in a candy bunny or chocolate bunny uh, look. And I'm also not worried about going outside the lines. Um, because I will be fussy cutting these out. And I haven't decided what I want to do about the tummy. And I think I might just make it the solid dark color. No shading to it. So I'm going to just color all of this in. And then just go back and kind of blend it out with my medium. Again, I'm not super worried about these looking perfect um, because they are chocolate bunnies. I just didn't want to lose all of the detail, the eyes and such. So I actually think I'm going to go in with this lighter color for the tummy as well as the nose. I think that just gives it a little something. So there's our dark chocolate bunny. And then our light chocolate bunny, or our milk chocolate, we're going to be using E33, oh, let's see, E33, 34, and 35. Again, putting my markers right in my hand. Sometimes it does get in the way of coloring, but for the most part, um, That isn't 
a big issue. I'm usually working on a bigger piece of paper. So, again, same thing, just coloring to color, no real rhyme or reason as to where the color is going. this color's a little more caramely than milk chocolate, but that's okay. We're going to go with the medium shade for his tummy and nose. And we're just going to blend out the colors. I think I forgot to do the ears and the dark color. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so there's our little bunnies. I think they look delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hand cut these, or uh, fussy cut these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I finished fussy cutting them out, and now I'm just taking my um, Copic brush um, tip multi-liner to cover up the white edges. This just helps give it a more finished look. You certainly don't have to do this, or you can leave a white border, but I'm not very good at keeping an even white border. So I like to, if I'm going to cut them out, I just take my uh, Copic Multi-Liner here and line it. Um, the only time I don't actually use this one is if I'm using a colored ink, um, or if I am... Uh, um, die cutting, obviously, um, using watercolors. So there's our two little bunnies. I think they are so cute. So now we're going to go ahead and zoom out and put together our pillow box. So this is double sided, as you can see, and I'm just going to go ahead and fold along the creases. I wonder it wasn't folding right. I had the wrong side. There we go. I'm just going to fold along the creases and then I'm going to take my bone folder and really press it down. And I'm also going to be using, as soon as I can find it, where that is, my 3 8 Is that a good size? Yeah, we'll do the 3 8 My 3 8 inch uh, score tape. I gotta figure out some way of labeling these so I can keep them out of the packaging because that noise drives me bonkers. Just bonkers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape down. And then I'm gonna trim it off. And you only need to do it on the one side and you only need to cut die cut one of these out. So then we're just going to fold it in half, and again, crease it, and then I'm going to kind of press the sides here, just a little, just to get them going. This is a nice thick paper, so it's holding up well um, to all the fold and without crumbling under the pressure. <laughs> Gonna lay that down. Okay, and then we're gonna set that aside. And we're gonna work on our sentiment. I have two pieces of um, pink paper here, and I'm gonna be stamping out the Hoppy Easter um, sentiment using my um, using Lawn Fawn's Herald ABCs. I'm gonna be using um, Memento Lux ink. Again, I will be sharing that in a haul video, um, or in the upcoming haul video. I found it on clearance because the package was open, so I figured why not go 
go ahead and pick it up. If I don't like it, I'm only losing $1.75 as opposed to how much it actually costs. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this off to the side because um, I'm thinking I'm going to have it tucked behind the bunnies. And I have two different colors, one for each of my girls. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one a little more towards the bottom, lining that up. And set that aside to dry, and then do the same thing to the other one. Oops. There we go. Okay. Ink it back up. And so far I like it. I think it's it's nice. I'm not gonna rush out and get the rest of the memento luxes just because I've got all the other ones, but uh it's a very nice ink. Um I just I stamped them out to see which one I wanted to try to do this one or the um, VersaFine and this one gave me a much bolder stamp um, than the VersaFine which is what I was looking for. So I'm just cleaning off my stamp so I don't mark up my table. And I'm going to get my little Fiskars here. I'm going to trim up the pink one because it did not go quite as straight as I wanted and my oops trimmed it a little short that's okay and I think I need to change the blade my other one so I apologize you can't see this I'm a little off camera um, just trimming it up a little bit neater there we go And then of course I ended up smudging the other side. I didn't give that a chance to fully dry on both of them. So we're going to restamp them, but they are now the size that I want all cleaned up. <laughs> I guess I need to let them dry a little more. So we're just going to go ahead and restamp them. That's what I get for rushing the process, right? Should have trimmed it up first. Okay. Alright. I think I'm going to take my heat tool to it to really dry them. Again, cleaning off my stamp. I don't particularly want it stained, and of course I dropped my stamp anyways. So I'm going to heat set these. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just going to take the dark chocolate one and stick it on the pink, as soon as I find my glue. Okay, I think I'm out of Tombow. There we go. And we're going to stick that one on there. And we're going to, oop, I put them a little high. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the back. So there's our dark chocolate bunny. And then do the same with our milk chocolate bunny, but on the dark pink paper. I wasn't sure how far away I wanted them, so that's why I left quite a bit of a gap or a 
tail. I don't want it showing. And then for the ends, we're just going to, um, let's see. I think we'll just round the corners. Let's see if I like that. That is not a big enough piece. Yeah. I think we'll go ahead and just round the corners a bit. No, fishtail or flag them. Ugh, I can't make up my mind, right? So just up the center and then in from the sides. I need to get some fishtail banner dies because I am not always very good at creating some. Oh, that time it actually came out pretty nice. And then this one will just get a little bit smaller of one. And then we will stick them onto our front. Yep. Hide it upside down. And then for the insides, I have these three candies that we got at Ross. So I've got a, and they are so good. Um, this is a caramel filled bunny, and then um, a little spring one. And there's, they each get one of the images here as well as the bunnies here. I don't know if they'll all fit inside, but I thought I could do at least one of each inside this little pillow and then sprinkle the rest throughout their baskets. Oh, now it smells delicious in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold up oops, one side and then take the other side and plop that in. Okay, so the big one will fit, but the two smaller ones won't. So we'll just put the two bunnies in here. Maybe. There we go. And then we'll close up the other side. And there we go. And the girls will have their own cute little Easter pillows with some Easter bunnies inside. We don't do a ton of candy in the girls' baskets, but we're not doing peeps this year because we just bought a ton of them. Uh, they like to have a Easter Bunny war, or a peeps war. Put them in the microwave, let them blow up, give them each a toothpick. It's always epic in this house. So we decided no peeps in the basket. So they will be getting all these fun things. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next time.